Hi all. So today I am just coming to with a happy news. Uh, we three from our vision board community at a single stretch we completed our associated database exam. I think most of the people know databricks has that much of demand in the industry right now. So that is the reason we are as a community, as a vision board community, we plan to take the databricks engineer exam. Then uh, successfully we completed, I think a single stretch we can complete these kind of certification with the, I think with the highest uh, mark we attain in the community itself 98. So that would be a good thing and uh, that is the one just announcement I can able to in I can give you in front of you right if you are want to prepare it. I think when I learn this one I know Databricks exam, Databricks associate exam has huge demand in the industry. If you pass the exam plus you are uh, fully know the concept what are the things they are more focused uh, if you get a more chances in the industry and in your internal projects also and the outside also company then coming into the uh, the difficulty of the exam so that is the one most of the people are talking about difficulty of the exam is like uh, if we learn from the dumps it will not work so that will be the honest thing about the database exam you need to know each and every concept what they specified in their syllabus then only you will get clear the exam otherwise it will not be clear because that much of um, uh, sure I can give you we practice as a community we practice almost 9 to 10 dumps uh, in a single stretch and the, we learn about some basic concepts what are the important concepts also that is the reason we can attain this much of success in our community itself so I think like that I can make a video for my community and my viewers also then today I just want to give you some uh, division of the database engineer associate examination it will be divided into five part okay the first part if you check out check out the database um, uh, certification uh, website you can see the five parts are available the first one will be the first part more weightage but almost 25 uh, percentage of the weightage you will get from this part like data lake house concept and why this lake data lake house is important and how we can successfully implement this lake house in other platforms rather than in the data bricks and what are the advantages coming into the syllabus uh, we talk about the difficulty coming into the syllabus it is divided into five portions i already mentioned five portions in the five portions they will be dividing into different levels of weightages the first portion i will tell you the weightages also the first portion is like uh, data lake house concept why this data lake house uh, what is the exact architecture of the data lake house what are the features available adaptable to the current uh, system rather than any other system and uh, uh, they will focus on each and everything why this is important and uh, why this is architects are choosing this one so these kind of thing then uh, clusters i will tell you the uh, points architecture description and their plane data plane control plane uh, where we can use each component of the item that is very important you will get a one question from there then coming into the data science and engineering like clusters workspaces and how to optimize the cost in the data bricks these kind of items then general concept like table manipulation schema these are the main 25 percentage of the weightage portion coming into the second portion it will be like python etl pipeline it will be we can build the pipeline in the python sql or pyspark any of the language at this portion you can expect more almost 5 to 10 question like a programming question but it is like a multiple choice question you can expect and you need to have a current means deep understanding of each of the programming then only you can able to answer hmm? for example jdbc connectors we are using for taking the data from external sources to our uh, database system so that is very important then that time you will get some kind of data from there <coughs> and how you can create a table and cleaning data Combining and the reshaping of Azure user defined function SQL, these kind of items you can expect the question. And next one will be <coughs> benefit of PySpark and the SQL, that is also important. That places you will get almost 25 to 27, 25 to 27 percentage of the question. 
then coming to the next one very important you will get a lot of question from there is a like an incremental concept for example if you are uh, the most of the questions are real time scenario based one <clears throat> they will ask you one question like uh, when you load the data you load uh, a new data yesterday like a history we loaded then today on board we want to get a new files whatever the new files are are av available so how we can use which are the tools you can use like auto loader concept uh, string concept these are very important and uh, uh, multi hop architecture how the multi hop architecture this multi hop architecture is also called a melodian architecture and uh, bronze layer silver layer then golden layer how the data is processing every layer you will get you can expect three to five question from this multi hop architecture it was like a tricky one where you can use a bronze table where you can use a this one and a dashboard and if sometimes they will give you some programs also uh, can you pick the for five out of the multiple choice question pick the first thing about the related to the uh, like <coughs> multi hop or like bronze layer or silver layer that is really confusing and delta table hmm? that is also very important you will get a lot of questions from delta live table why delta live table is important that kind of concept coming into the uh, less paid stage but you will get more to, most of the question how the production pipeline how if you develop one thing you deploy into the production system and how it will be working and the, how the performance issue if a schedule run or how we can track the item if any failures are happen these kind of item you will get job scheduling tar cost creation and uh, alerting refreshing email email sending from your current system to the uh, failures or succeed happening sending to the customers so these kind of item you can expect <coughs> almost same question then the last one will be <coughs> unity catalog that also you can expect the question mm. Uh, then permission very important three to four question you can get from the permission if you are new data engineer coming into your system how you can handle or how you can permission using the grant usage create all privilege these question you are you can expect so these are the overall idea about how you can uh, prepare for the data bricks exam uh, i think like that uh, you need some kind of preparation at least 20 days of preparation you need to clear this exam very important if you don't have the preparation you don't jump into directly because this uh, the cost of this exam is 200 dollar but if you are attending some of the databricks sessions you will get some vouchers from the databricks itself so maybe i will i will give you you can join my community i will give you the updates also okay so i will give you the course link in the below description box if you are interested you can join with me thank you